When you're in a river and you, you feel nature around you, it puts you in a position to fully appreciate the wonders of the world. Water is the new gold. It's the currency that drives global economies. It's the boundary that divides countries. Clean water ensures prosperous, sustainable, and secure populations. The face of the planet is changing. More people now live in cities than ever before. By 2050, 70% of all humanity will live in these urban centers. People are living longer. They use more substances, they use more chemicals, they use more pharmaceuticals, and ultimately these chemicals make their way back into the environment. We live in a chemical soup. And our challenge as toxicologists becomes identifying those substances that are most useful and less problematic. Imagine if you could design chemicals that serve their intended function, but don't increase risk to public health and the environment. I'm excited about a new project. It's a network grant with collaborators from other universities and scientists and educators here at Baylor. It's going to allow us to identify attributes of chemicals that are problematic so that we can develop predictive models to anticipate problems before they actually occur. Students are at the forefront of our research. The Environmental Health Science Program here at Baylor is one of only 32 nationally accredited programs in the United States. The students we see coming to Baylor want to make a difference. They want to serve. Environmental science represents a perfect opportunity for them to meet their calling and ultimately make a difference because it's not just reducing the hazards of chemicals. It's greater than that. It's ensuring a more sustainable planet for all of us.